Hello. Hello and welcome, my friends. I'm very, very excited about this episode. And you will see it uh, probably contains the best buy I ever bought since I started collecting fountain pens. And you will see the best buy lot are in this pouch over here. But bear with me for a second because I have also an unboxing and uh, it is an interesting model you will see so back from the post office in this pack i received an interesting fountain pen let me tell you first what i paid for it so i paid including the shipment 300 lace or 61.22 euros or 65.42 american dollars and uh, without further delay let me start unwrapping it and judging by the way it's wrapped, I'm going to need some uh, scissors and I have them right here, guys. This is the pack. I'm not so sure how I can easily open it. So I will try to open it like this. And I hope I can do this. So bear with me for a second, guys. I think I will probably ruin the um, box. I don't have time for this, let's see, like this, and I hope that it uh, doesn't contain some important uh, other fragile boxes inside of it, so this is it, guys, I've managed to open it, and right here it is the content, let me take it out, so this is it, guys. I believe that, yes, this is the content of the pack. Uh, or maybe not, I will see later, but it should contain only one writing instrument. And yes, this is it, guys. Oh, uh, nice of uh, the seller to include this uh, plastic pouch, but this is the pen I'm uh, talking about. Uh, maybe it is a Waterman, but I don't, don't know for sure. It has this European uh, overlay. Let me check out if we have something engraved over here, guys. So nothing over here. I like this pattern uh, here and here. And if I'm not mistaken, this has a 14 carat gold nib it is a safety filler in the sense that the nib retracts by doing uh, i'm not so sure by it is stuck let me see but definitely you can see that nib over there well it needs some work definitely uh, by the seller's picture it has a warranted 14 karat gold nib over there and i will see how to get to it guys so stay tuned on my channel because this will have a review it has some uh, ink stains of it, on it but it is a wonderful wonderful piece and i don't think i paid uh, a large sum of money so this is the first uh, buy of today guys but you will see why i'm so excited so this is it one of the buys i bought an interesting lot from uh, a seller in my hometown an antique seller and that lot is present in this pouch i will leave this for last but uh, i also when i went to him i bought this interesting interesting pan and i believe it was uh, used f for young ladies at balls uh, young ladies had uh, notepads and uh, they had um, all the night uh, let's say reserved for different pa dance partners so they had a little notepad and uh, they used to write in that little notepad and this is a telescopic mechanical pan it is gold-plated, and the only clue 
of uh, the producer or the manufacturer is engraved right over here guys and I hope my camera will zoom because it has something written right over here let me see if I can show you it is an A an A a W and an F I don't know probably the initials of the producers if they are not the initial of the producers uh, maybe it is the initials of the original owner where I paid for this beautiful beautiful telescopic mechanical pencil only 80 lays guys or the equivalent of 16.32 euros or 17.44 American dollars and now guys thank you for your time we will start with the contents of this pouch well let me tell you I paid for all that you will see here in this pouch 2000 lays so the equivalent of 408.10 euros or 436.12 American dollars but you will see I believe I did a great great job so let me start with the most fragile item it is uh, this cardboard box full halter means the fountain pen in uh, German and uh, unfortunately it does not contain the original full halter but uh, we have a warranty of a Makeba product and a three-year warranty and what is exciting about this is the fact that we also have a date 1957 and the town of Dresden where it was originally bought if you're not familiar with Makeba, Makeba was a uh, East German uh, fountain pen manufacturer and uh, this is the original box of it so let me see this is the first buy of uh, the pouch unfortunately it does not contain the original pen in it and let's see what we have here what do I have here yes guys I have a beautiful Lamy also a German fountain pen this is a Lamy 27e with an F name a wonderful wonderful piece probably from the 1960s it has the it has this 585 semi hooded nib and it has this interesting interesting multi window multi window uh, ink window that you see over here this is a piston filler and it is a wonderful wonderful piece so this was one of the pens I bought in this wonderful wonderful lot okay let me put this pen here and let me continue with this so this is a cross fountain pen unfortunately I bought it as it is so you can see the cap right over here it's made in Ireland but it does not have the ending over here and I believe also it's missing a uh, plastic part from it but it is a wonderful piece it has this wonderful wonderful nib and it is an 18 karat gold nib a wonderful wonderful nib let me see if we have an ink cartridge no we have an ink converter and it's quite quite nice and it's on original cross converter and also this pen was included in the lot okay a wonderful cross unfortunately I have to repair this uh, cap if I can let me see what else yes another beautiful pen another German pen this I believe it's a pelican if I'm not mistaken and we have engraved here at uh, the ring it is a pelican 140 a beautiful pelican 140 this pelican was uh, produced in germany between 
1952 and 1965 and it has this interesting ending unfortunately it lacks the similar ending at the top of the cap and the clip but it is a wonderful piston filler with a beautiful beautiful nib this is a 14 carat 585 gold nib and this was another buy of the lot okay guys probably you will see the best uh, to the last uh, let's let's see whoa guys and this is an incredible incredible buy and if you don't recognize this uh, just look at it. This is a Pelican Savoran M800 and this is a special one. It is not from the first year of production 1987, but I believe it's from 1988. And this is why guys, because it has this uh, plating here and also this interesting logo over here. And this is characteristics to the first years of production. And probably you know that I have in uh, my collection uh, another green uh, striped one from 1987 fitted with a 14 karat gold nib. And I will leave the link right over here, guys. This is from the second year of production because it is fitted with an 18 karat gold nib. So not a 14 karat gold nib, but an 18 karat gold nib. And the size of it, M. So a wonderful, wonderful piece from... 1988 guys the second year of production for this wonderful wonderful pen and probably you see right over there i have its brother from 1987 fitted with a 14 karat gold nib that who was uh, featured on my review so another p wonderful pen included in this lot and also in uh, this lot let me see. Yes, guys. <laughs> so this is probably the most expensive pen. My first Mont Blanc from the 1930s, guys. This particular one, it lacks that wonderful, wonderful clip. But nevertheless, I present to you a, pen, a Mont Blanc one three four guys and you probably can see it is a one three four unfortunately it lacks uh, that uh, iconic uh, clip over here but it is a wonderful wonderful piece guys and uh, the best buy of this lot it has this 14 karat amazing uh, two colored uh, gold nib 14 karat gold nib and what i love this ski slope type feed ebonite uh, feed which is specific to the end of the 1930s and uh, uh i'm sorry uh, this is a mont blanc and um, i uh, i told you that it was from the 1930s but based on this feeder now I can tell you that probably it is a late 1940s model uh, or the beginning of the 1950s. A beautiful, beautiful piston filler. And this costs quite, quite a, a large sum of money. I've seen it uh, on eBay and the seller wants 2,000 American dollars for it. Well, this it lacks the clip, but uh, I still think it's a great, great buy. And probably the most uh, expensive and the oldest Mont Blanc in my collection. I also have in my collection here a uh, Mont Blanc Meisterstück 144 from the beginning of the 1950s and the Meisterstück 146. And you can see the difference in design. Those are torpedo shape and this is a flat pan. So uh, this is the previous generation of Meisterstück and then they um, appeared those on the market. So I will leave this here guys, another wonderful, wonderful buy. And let me show you what else I have in this uh, beautiful, beautiful pouch. And I'm trying to see, uh, let me take all of them or no. 
let me just take the most important one so what did i find in this pouch i found this little interesting mont blanc cap and probably you can see that it is a casein ending logo and the same uh, uh, ivory color as uh, the ones from the early 1950s so i said to myself this is a cap from the early 1950s in great of the band we have meister stuck and mont blanc and i have with me guys two of my pants from my collection early 1950s and this is the 146 uh, model and with the 146 it wasn't compatible so let me put the 146 down over here but i have here a 144 from the beginning of the 1950s and if i place this cap over here we have a compatible cap so also in this lot i found this cap unfortunately the body of the pen is missing but nevertheless a wonderful cap from a Mont Blanc Meister Stuck 144 from the beginning of the 1950s also included in this lot okay let me put also this and I have several uh, ones also uh, included in this lot was this ballpoint pen and it is uh, silver and I know that because I have here a hard mark so let me see we have 835 i hope that my camera will zoom on it let me zoom closer and we have here an 835 and s and another logo it has some interesting interesting uh, pattern to it and also an engraving here 10 jahre kaufhof so probably it was um, given to an employee on uh, the 10th year of uh, working to, oh, for this Kaufhof German and Kaufhof I'm not, uh, if I'm not mistaken is a chain store in Germany like uh, uh, so this probably was uh, of uh, an employee of that f German firm also included in this lot guys and ta -da, I have also this and if I'm not mistaken this is a Pelican M400 the old style produced between 1982 and uh, 1997 you see no uh, no uh, gold ring here and you recognize it by the logo you can see we have an engraved logo at the top of the cap those who are produced after 1997, 1997 had this painted on and uh, i know that so also this included in this lot and i have these guys this is also a pelican and i think that it is um m200 the old style of m200 produced between 1985 and 1997 again the same engraved logo over here and um, it has the same length approximately as uh, the the sovereign m400 also this included in the lot and what else guys i have a beautiful beautiful diplomat another german producer wonderful as you can see this has an engraver engraving on the barrel dr d schumann so it appears that it was uh, owned by a doctor diplomat over here and um, let me see yes the cap on screws and it reveals this multifaceted ink window and this uh, wonderful wonderful gold name it also has an uh, engraving right over here 
a PP. I'm not so sure if it stands for the size of the nib. This is like you see a 14 karat 585 gold nib. Probably let me zoom on it. Let me zoom on it to, to show you the hallmark of gold. And also this wonderful German piece was included in the this slot guys. And I'm done to the last two pieces. So I have a cap here and judging by the way it is uh, designed I can say for sure it uh, belonged to a pen produced before 1997 because it has this engraved logo at the top of the cap. It is a, it has a wonderful wonderful clip and it has also a personalization Steingeberger hotels probably a chain of hotels in germany also only the cap on this one and guys a wonderful wonderful pen at the end this i believe is the pelican 400 nn the two twice brown striped one it is a wonderful wonderful piece as you can see guys it uh, has uh, i'm not so sure that it shows on the camera but this is a dark brown color of the clip the beautiful beautiful turquoise brown striped barrel and also a wonderful wonderful gold nib guys you can see an f nib a 585 gold nib this particular model was produced between 19 56 and 1965 but a wonderful wonderful piece i always loved this two twas brown striped pattern on the old pelicans and this is quite quite a nice addition to my collection if i'm not mistaken i think i have a spare part cap for for this pelican and i will check my boxes of spare parts but i know for sure this interesting ending and the wonderful wonderful dark brown color of it so guys probably the best finds of the day are this wonderful pelican m800 from 1988 and this wonderful mont blanc 134 probably from the late 1940s so after the second world war because it's fitted with a gold nib and probably you know during the second world war uh, they had some uh, problems using uh, gold nibs in fact i believe it was a law prohibiting the use of gold because the gold was uh, considered a strategic material for the war effort but guys those are my wonderful wonderful finds and the other ones i considered them to be bonuses so again guys i paid for this lot here only 2000 slays or 400 euros or around 430 us dollars and i believe that this is the deal of this year guys and uh, i'm quite grateful for the seller because he wanted a decent decent price of course i told him look only this uh, uh is uh, has a price of uh, several thousand dollars so two thousand dollars maybe a realistic price because it's like the clip it's one thousand dollars but one thousand dollars in comparison with 436 i paid for the whole lot and um, you know that i've done uh, great of course guys i don't sell them so this is why i'm a collector probably it will be better for me to sell this at a profit but it is my first mont blanc from the late 1940s it has this style of the old meisterstück from the 1930s and uh, uh, what can i say guys look this style from the 1950s of course the famous meisterstück line that we know in, in the pro our present days but this was before it and strangely it do, does look uh, it's quite similar with the Souverain line of the Pelican. 
and but this is just a uh, uh, fact guys so thank you again my friends if you stayed this long to watch this unboxing uh, you are true fans of my channel i thank you a lot for i thank you a lot for your time guys i hope uh, tell me what you think about my buy in the comments please don't be jealous guys I know for sure that you can also find great deals out there in the wild. You have to be patient, you have to do your homework, you have to know what you buy. Of course, you will mm, definitely get some bad deals out there, but trust me, the treasure is right before the next corner. So be patient and... Um, you will see that you will the, your patience will be rewarded in time. So, guys, again, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching my channel. I uh, definitely recommend uh, that you watch also my other channel, Free Market Vintage Finds, and I will try to uh, to include there uh, some uh, interesting uh, writing instruments, but not only writing instruments, but also some vintage, vintage pieces of treasure I found, I find in vintage uh, flea markets and also in antique shops and other, other sources. Again, thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day, my friends. This is for sure the best uh, unboxing and the best fountain pen lot I got since probably 2017 when I started collecting fountain pens and I'm uh, mind blown guys I did not pay the large sum of money and um, I got um, some really really nice nice pieces so have a wonderful day with you again at the next episode till then bye bye and god bless you all my dear friends